don't know what students don't know without assessment. And students don't know what they don't know without assessment. And that's one of the biggest things that I have come away with from this project is how much more we need to engage students in the assessment. We're not doing assessment to them, we should be doing it with them. The assessment project was really designed to help our local districts with assessment and using the data. Our topics were really designed around helping the districts to really dig into their practices when it comes to assessment, as well as analyzing the data that they collect. So we were able to um, learn about a few different frameworks for assessment around performance tasks, project-based learning, as well as uh, writing. And then our last session will be uh, moving into uh, how to analyze your data and then how to look at the results to drive that instruction. This series has been really powerful in having conversations with districts and staff on how can we leverage other forms of assessment practices that are more authentic and more real world for our students. So whether that's project-based learning, performance tasks, or even writing across different content areas, is how can we engage students in some of these authentic assessment practices that are meaningful, that are engaging for our students more than that multiple choice, true, false kind of um, assessment practices. We have some schools that are small schools, right? So they don't have a great number of resources. But they're saying, hey, we want an opportunity to learn with others and to benefit from interacting with others. And this project has afforded them that opportunity. So I think that's important too with this series is to give teachers time to talk with each other, not just in district, but across districts, to compare ideas and, and what's worked for you. Um, and I think that's one of the things they find most valuable is, is that chance to exchange ideas across school districts. We're learning how rubrics can reduce bias and provide clarity on what student learning looks like. This helps our teachers calibrate the feedback that they give to students. The student-centered piece I think is the most powerful because so much of what we've learned has to do with student reflection. Are the students actually learning? How do we give the students voice to do that? We have a lot of content um, and really great practices that's coming from the assessment project, uh, but finding the time to purposefully implement within a district has to be strategic. I also get to go to the districts and coach them, and that could be in their classroom, it could be during their prep time, it could be before and after school, so that's provided some opportunities to combat that challenge of the time piece. Being on the same page with philosophy, and not over-assessing kids, right? figuring out what is that right amount, and then what do you do with the data that you're collecting from that assessment? As an administrator, I've been at each one of the meetings as part of the um, requirements of the cohort. So I have that through line. I've always, I've seen all of the different things. And then we bring in the teachers who have, um, we thought would benefit most from the different topics. And so it's really interesting to see with the different teachers that we've brought in, what they bring to the table that I never knew before because we never got the moment to talk about it. If we want to improve what is being shown by those results, it really has to start with our teachers and what they're doing with our students every day in the classroom.